hello guys welcome back to another video my name is Liz in today's video I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how to get a job fast without moving out of state first so in this video I'm gonna be giving you guys tips about finding a job really quick while being out of state so this is something that I have experienced when moving from Boston to San Antonio Texas so I hope this video serves you guys and gets you really good ideas of what to do to find a job quick that way when you do move out of state you do have a job already aligned for yourself first of all i want you to look for industries or jobs that are within the location they're going to be moving in so that's the first step you're going to be doing so just go ahead and look for the jobs that are located near your home or wherever you're going to be located that way you have an overall idea of what kind of jobs they have if the job market looks kind of sucky if there's a lot of jobs or positions within your experience that are there. And then obviously you wanna work on your resume. Make sure that you are um, having the overall goal for your target jobs that you're looking for. So make sure you kinda arrange your resume to have all the things that are required to get the job you're interested in. Another thing that you could do is find remote jobs. That way when you do move out of state, that's not gonna bother you or have any sort of concern or anything like that just because you're working remote and make sure you do know the difference of remote and work from home. Work from home means you have to be at the address that the market or whichever company hired you for. Remote, you can work from anywhere within the United States. So you can go ahead and do that as well. That is a great idea. And then one thing that I did, did was join online communities. I joined things like Reddit, look for um, people's ideas of like where did what is easy to find jobs what kind of companies are in my area kind of on the things that i wanted to do which is like the healthcare field so if you're in customer service let's say retail or healthcare like me i was looking at posts in regards to the most common companies in my area that way i knew where i wanted to apply and then another thing I did was look on Indeed for those jobs that were open, but I didn't actually apply on Indeed. I just went there just to look for the job post. And then I actually applied on the own companies. That's something that I think helps, especially in the job market right now. I feel like it's really sucky. Make sure you're not applying from Indeed. I feel like there's just like a thousand applications on there. You could probably get lost. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's not like before that you could just apply on Indeed and get hired. I just look for the jobs there and go directly to the site and apply from there. I just feel like there, my chances were greater like that. But you can do as you please. And then obviously, once you are getting those interviews, you can go ahead and do them through Zoom. That's what I was doing for some jobs that I had. You can kind of just dress up for success. Make sure you're wearing something appropriate. Do those interviews through Zoom. That way, once you move to the new state, you have a job aligned or some sort of opportunities or just something there like just start applying probably like two to three months before just because i feel like it's taking forever now to get hired or at least that's what i think i don't know what other people are experiencing but make sure you're applying two to three months before that way by the time you move here you either have a job already like aligned you have your start date and all of that or you have a job that just wants to see you in person and do an interview but just make sure you're applying early in advance and then another thing that you want to utilize is LinkedIn. So I did a lot of applications through LinkedIn. So I just look for jobs within my field, which is the healthcare field. I looked on there what kind of positions were open. I did network or try to message some people just so they could have my name on their, um, just on their mind. Like when I do submit the application that I feel like gave me better chances to get accepted into positions and just have more than one offer that way i can kind of negotiate and see which company i wanted to go for so those are things that you want to be doing that way you're not stressing yourself out about finding a job when you're moving out of state these are things you want to start like i said early in advance that way when you move to the new state you you're already going to be stressed from like the moving unpacking decorating your new home so make sure your job is not another one of those stresses make sure you start really early start researching even if you're not going to start applying start fixing fixing up your resume adding those key elements that you wanted to have like for um, whichever jobs you want to apply for that way you can kind of get those chances higher and just make sure you're doing the research like i said before for companies that you want to be applying for and start applying two to three months in advance that way your chances are overall higher that you are going to have a job 
by the time you move out of state. And then another thing that I did, I just addressed the location gap. So when I was applying for these jobs, when they called me on the phone or they had a phone interview or even through Zoom, I did mention to them like, oh, I'm in Boston, Massachusetts at the moment. I plan to move to Texas in this month, the year. And some companies were like, no, we're looking for somebody like right now. Or um, they might say, oh, like we're still interested in you. And then they just want to see you in person. So that's what happened to me with the current company I'm at. So I did a phone interview at first with one of the recruiters. And then they wanted to see me in person for an in-person interview. So all I waited was for like three weeks. And I made an appointment with the, hire, with the hiring manager. And that's how I got my current position. So just make sure you let them know in advance and see if that's going to be a concern for them or if it's something that they can work with. And then another thing you want to do, make sure you're applying for jobs that are good on the growing field. So you don't want to move to a state like, for example, me. I didn't know a lot of companies, like especially moving to a new state that I've never been before. Make sure you do your research about the company just because the last thing you want is to just move and get a job that's like super like not the greatest or doesn't really align with the core values or whatever you are interested in make sure you do your research that way you're just not applying to random companies and make sure that by the time you move you have a job that at least you're interested in or have some sort of idea where you're going to be working for that way you're not completely blank when moving on a state so these are just tips and tricks i did for be making it easier for myself to find a job when moving from boston to san antonio texas i hope this video was useful to you guys don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below what kind of things you did to find a job easily when moving out of state and as always i'll see you guys next time